Have you ever seen this experiment? Mentos candies and soda pop? I'd like to briefly explain how this experiment works and also how you can use chemistry to make this fountain even better. You see, there's a lot of carbon dioxide in soda pop. You can see the carbon dioxide escaping when I open the bottle. You see all those bubbles there? Those bubbles are carbon dioxide escaping. But what if we wanted it to escape a little faster so we can get a little bit of the fountain? That's where the Mentos candies come in. You see, Mentos candies have a lot of pits and pockets in them. Chemists call them nucleation sites. And those nucleation sites allow the carbon dioxide that's in the soda pop to form a gas really easily. Those quick gas bubbles make a nice fountain that pushes the soda pop out. But chemists also know that chemical processes such as these happen much more quickly with temperature. And that's something we're going to try next. First we're going to try the soda pop bottle that was kept in the fridge. Next we're going to try the soda pop bottle that's kept at room temperature. So as you can see, higher temperature means faster chemistry. <laughs>